come and discover with me possibly a new winter destination for you in my home country Romania and more specifically my home city of Timisoara. <laughs> it's maybe not so well known located in the west of the country certainly not as well known as the capital Bucharest but Timisoara is the city where the revolution happened against the dictator it started here in 1980 89. This though is not a vlog about that. It is a vlog about the Christmas market in Timisoara where I was so lucky to be this year. I will tell you more about that, about my personal reason to be so overjoyed with this later in this vlog. But for now, let's discover the Christmas market in 2022 together. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Catalina George. I am a vlogger and a writer. And here I publish vlogs about traveling, vlogs about lifestyle as well, and vlogs about my Romanian heritage. Now, you can guess that this one will be about traveling. I hope to inspire you to start considering Romania as your winter destination in future years. More particularly my home city, but as well Sibiu and Brasov in Transylvania, where some of the biggest Christmas markets, as far as I'm aware, happen here. I can tell you about Sibiu for sure. I will correct myself it, if I was a little bit wrong about Brasov, but I don't think so. Now, without further digressing, I invited you today to watch this vlog and discover how what once was just a few small stores here in my city in uh, Timisoara now developed to a proper Christmas market. About maybe like six years ago when I visited for the last time, not the region, but around this time of the year, close to Christmas, then, you know, there were a few stores, some mulled wine, some kurtosh kalach or chimney cake, a very beloved dessert in Central Europe and my region as well but not so much it just you know it just felt like there was a little to mark the time of the year and that was it now when i visited for the first time with my brother on the 23rd of december he wanted to bring his son over and for us to have a roam around and just explore how beautiful the city looks with all of these Christmas lights. I was absolutely surprised in a really, really good way. I was impressed with the diversity of foods, traditional food, hot dishes as well in like huge, huge pots at the stores. Also lots of cooked meats, again in the traditional way sausages and bacon and all sorts the way that we Romanians like to smoke and dry them for winter cheeses the mild wine was proper proper flavored really beautiful so I thought why not tell you all about this as well introduce you to it and maybe you will be convinced to visit as I did
Last night I was left without battery on my phone, as you do when you take lots of photos, lots of footage for a great vlog about a Christmas market in your home city, back in Romania. <laughs> Today is my last day of this trip for Christmas 2022 in my region, in Western Romania. And uh, yeah, you can see the weather is absolutely stunning. Yes, of course, I won't get to capture any more Christmas lights and anything like that today because I'm flying, I need to be in, on the airport in the afternoon, but I have recorded a lot of video so I can share with you in this vlog for you to see the really, really joyful atmosphere, the really stunning Christmas lights that they've put up here for the, for the event, I was proper impressed, as I said before, because, because in the UK, where I've been living for 11 years now, half of that I've been in the Midlands. And in the Midlands, we have Birmingham. And in Birmingham, we have the biggest franchise of the Frankfurt Christmas market outside of Germany. It's been an event that's happening, that's been happening for decades. People all over know about it. It tends to be very crowded, particularly this year. I've been there as well, and it was so crowded and crazy, but at the same time, really festive. I've always loved that event and now to see that these fairs happen in Romania as well, attracting and bringing joy not only to locals but tourists from abroad, for me is a really, really good reason to make me happy because I want people to know about my home country. I want people to enjoy it and to learn about it because I am proud of the place where I came from. Now, enough of that about that. Let's talk a little bit more about what has been happening here with the Christmas market in Timisoara. So, right now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce for you the three strongest points that the Christmas market in my home city of Timisoara has, but maybe we will move to a different backdrop to do that. I will start now by introducing the backdrop that you can see. Of course, some Christmas lights decorations that don't look that great in the daytime, of course, but at night they're absolutely stunning. Now, over there is the Orthodox Metropolitan Cathedral of Timisoara, a proper landmark of my home city, one of the biggest in the whole country, built at the beginning of the 20th century. Yeah, it's a place that I've known really well. I used to go and attend mass there when I was stu a student here, an undergrad in Timisoara. But now let's get back to the event that this vlog is all about. <laughs> I said I was going to tell you about the three main strong points of the Christmas market in Timisoara. And one I have already mentioned. It's the variety of food that people can buy and even take home with them from the stalls here. And I have mentioned the cooked meats, our sausages, um, bacon and all sorts. Also farm-made cheese such as Emmental and, and other varieties, some of it smoked as well. And I would recommend if you come here and visit, if you maybe rent a flat via Airbnb, you can take the food home with you and enjoy it there, do that. And lots, lots of cooked food. I have to say that Birmingham kind of loses this competition compared to what's available at the Christmas market in Timisoara because there were like three huge pots with traditional cooked food. One of them being paprikash or a kind of like potato and sausage and, and bacon stew cooked with, with lots of paprika, <laughs> which of course is very traditional in Hungary, but we have lots of Hungarian influences in Transylvania. Another one was just roast meat. Um, pork is 
the main roast meat for winter in Romania, sausages as well, served with polenta, with um, corn, corn maize flour, all cooked and boiled. Then there was sarmale, the stuffed cabbage rolls as well, which are a very beloved food in Romania. A lot of Romanians think that it's a Romanian invented food, but it's not. Even the name sarmale comes from Turkish because the Turkish people, they make it as well. They are made all over, all across the Balkans. Um, also, there was the, just the polenta, the corn flour cooked meal with a thick layer of cheese on top, which in Romania tends to be sheep cheese, and with um, bits of um, sausages fried and spread all over on top. <laughs> yeah, I could talk about this food forever and ever because it is proper Romanian food and I could have taken it all with me home if there was that possibility. But that is the first strong point of this market. The second strong point of this market were the actual illuminations and the music that just enhanced the, the festive atmosphere for everybody who's just walking around and deciding what to buy and what not to buy. <laughs> Because the Christmas lighting that was put together here was absolutely top-notch. You will see, I don't want to keep um, mumbling about this now, but you will see and you can appreciate again for yourselves. And the music, because all across this Victory Square, between the cathedral and the opera house on the other side of the square, there are loudspeakers and... Um, the organizers play traditional Romanian Christmas carols sang by, by example, the Madrigal uh, Choir in Bucharest, a proper top standard choir that sings classical music and also Christmas carols. Or some Christmas carols or Christmas songs played by international singers or by Romanian ones. And I have to say, I loved that. It just felt, yes, I know it wasn't live music, but we will come to that as well. Oh my God, am I going to have three points, three points or more? I don't know. I've kind of lost track now. But at the same time, there were a couple of really, really, really good buskers here as well. Yes, no live music put together by the organizers, like you have in Birmingham or in Nottingham in the UK, but street buskers that I was completely impressed with. One of them singing more soft rock style, Stefan Troubadour, whom I have tagged in some videos that I've shared on Instagram and on Facebook. I will actually, let me tag in my Instagram account for you as well, down here, so you can go and check out my photos and some video content that I filmed on the side as well. And another one was a traditional folk flute player, a proper wooden flute um, whom I really loved and I have filmed him for you. I will share the traditional Romanian folk flute player with you in this vlog as well. Let's do that. Take a short break and then we'll come back to the third point because the first point was the food, the second point was the music and the Christmas lights and we'll come back to the third point, we will, in a few seconds. Hope you enjoyed that and now let's get straight to the third strong point of the Christmas market in Timisoara. I'm, I'm just feeling that maybe this is a little bit unfair because it's not specific to the Christmas market but to the place where it happens. This square 
in which I'm filming right now. It, it feels it's a little bit unfair because again, Birmingham loses compared to that. And I love that event as well. So yes, let's get straight to the point. It's the open space of this square that makes the event feel more airy, more relaxed. Even when last night, the streets and the square were full of people, it was a lot busier than when I came with my brother here just before Christmas. But at the same time, it didn't feel like it was too crowded. So, yes, yeah, sadly, a lot of big cities in the UK do not have these big open spaces, these huge squares where, you know, uh, you can just roam freely and you do not feel that all the time you're almost stepping on the person in front of you. And yes, the English people are great at queuing, but yes, I think that is one of the biggest av advantages of where we have these markets in Romania. Well, that was it. I hope I have convinced you to come and visit, to enjoy what my home city has got to offer. And before we wrap up this vlog, I will tell you a little bit more about that, on that front, that hasn't got a lot to do with the Christmas market, but just a tiny bit more flavor of what Timisoara is all about. I've moved again for this last bit of today's vlog for a reason. I told you that I was going to share a little bit more thought about Timisoara with you and what makes it special despite being a fairly small city. Timisoara has never really been on the touristic map, not since the Habsburg times, <laughs> at least. <laughs> and that is what you can see all across the city. That is what is making it pretty atmospheric and special because Timisoara and the region were added to the Habsburg Empire again in the 18th century when it was conquered again from the Ottoman Empire. All of this area used to be together with the Balkans. Uh, an area disputed between the two empires over and over again. What happened in Timisoara was that once it became part again of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, a lot has been built and a lot of that architecture inspired by the Habsburg style that we can see all across Central Europe is still present today. Sadly, some of the buildings are not properly renovated and it does sadden me to see all of that beauty just slowly and slowly decaying, but some are. You can see them here in Victory Square, 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 Victory Square, woo! <laughs> so you can see them here in Victory Square. You can see them all across the city center and the adjacent areas. And I think that is one of the aspects that makes Timisoara a great destination. There's lots of history to discover, history that's not that well known. So yeah, give it a go. At the same time, in winter, Timisoara is a good place where to start from and go to Semenik Mountains, towards Reshica, that is a little bit further south. And there you have opportunities for skiing. This winter there was a lot of snow as well up there, so yeah, you can mix 
exploring a new city, enjoying a Christmas market with a little bit of winter sports. Why not? I hope I have convinced you with what I've put together for you today, despite my, <laughs> my like um, exceeding enthusiasm that maybe just had me be a little bit more chaotic in my speech today. But I hope that all of that joy and all of this cheer, festive cheer that still stays with me even today when I'm flying, I hope I have managed to communicate that to you and, uh, you know, uh, cheer you up as well. I will wrap up today's vlog, not before telling you again if you want to find me on Facebook or if you want to find me on Instagram and check out my content there. There's a lot of photography, a little bit of, you know, um, content about our traditions here in Romania as well. So, you know, I will tag my Instagram there for you. Again, if you like this vlog, remember to give me thumbs up because that way YouTube will know and will bring more people to watch. Before I forget, if you have been subscribed to my channel for quite a while or recently, which I really thank you and thank you for hanging on with me, you know that I haven't posted that much this year. I still have content from my summer trip to Cheltenham in the UK, from my 2021 trip to Timisoara, visiting my family here in Romania. Sadly, this year has been the craziest work-wise so far in my life in the UK for 11 years, but things are just settling down now, so I will publish those vlogs as well. Just bear with me, they are all the content. I will put a little bit of an explanation when it was filmed and I will just produce it and share it with you on my channel and I want to be more active in 2023 here as well. Also remember to subscribe to my channel. Until next time then, ciao for now.